Ah, yes, if it is prayer, let us join you now. He said, and he says, sit here. They say, yes, let us sit. We don't even like all these things you used to carry. Pray, 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 pray all the time. We are comfortable. Lord, may I not be comfortable. I know there's a new dimension and I choose to sit here. I don't know who this God is bringing this word to. But God said you've sat out there for too long. You've sat out there for too long. You've relaxed for too long. You know what? These guys have already made a journey. Before they got to Gethsemane, they have made, they have taken process. They have made a journey. I'm sure they were looking forward to the place. I wish they can ask us to sit down. Where we are coming from is very far. It's very far. We have tried, though. We have tried. We have tried. And then he said to them, sit. He said, yeah, hey. that Lord, it might be uncomfortable, but don't let me sit. It might hurt my self-esteem. It might hurt my ego. But Lord, don't let me sit. It was when the young prophet sat. That the lion came after him. I know Would you stand on your feet and lift up your right hand? We're going to make this prayer and declare with a loud voice, say, Father, say like you mean, say, Father, any area of my life where I am comfortable sitting, say, right now, I rise, I rise, I rise, I rise. I rise, I rise, I break out, I rise, I break out, I rise, I break out, I rise, I break out. Let a believer say louder, Amen. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead that has the capacity of quickening your mortal bodies from the place of rest, from the place of destiny relaxation. I pray, let the quickening power transition you right now, right now, right now, right now. Let your amen resound. Take your seat. Again, before I continue, know that he chose them to sit. Don't forget this. Good Friday service. He chose them. He looked at them, marked their name, ticked them, and said, by the reason of what you can do, I cannot trust you. Sit here. Sit. I know you. I know you. When push comes to shove, you will still do that same thing I say you shouldn't do. Sit here. Lord, may I not build a CV of not to be trusted by you. That when destiny matters, you will simply say to me, sit ye here. Lord, may I not be, may my trajectory be such that I don't used to hear. You don't used to hear. So that when destiny matters, God will say, sit ye here. I know you won't hear. Let me take others. You think you have made progress, but you won't go beyond here. Because people like you, look at where they sit. Sit ye here. I know you think you've come a distance, but a time will come when I will remind you that where you are is a place where I keep those who can't be trusted. He said, sit ye here. Permit me to move on. And then he took, the Bible says, he took um, Peter, James, and John. These are those that I will refer to as men in transition. Excuse me, sir. Why do you call them men in transition? Very simple. You know that they have left where the nine was, right? They, they were not where the nine were, as it were. But they are not where Jesus is. Did you get what I just said right now? So they left where the nine were. And then uh, they were in a place, uh, or, but Jesus was in a place where he called yonder. So they left where the nine was, but they are not where Jesus is. Jesus left with them with an instruction. And these are for men in transition. Very simple instruction. He says, watch and pray. So Jesus lifted them and said, every man who is in the place of becoming, that has not yet become every man who is in the place of transition 
must not joke with prayer. Because prayer is the incubation that bets what we are looking for. Prayer is kirata silaba. I'm not talking about vain repetition. I'm not talking about prayers that has your lineup of prayer points and nothing about God inside of it. That's not the prayer. I'm talking about prayer that prays you and not you pray in the prayer. And Jesus said, listen, it is not enough to pray. Because we have powerful prayer warriors, but they are not watchmen. This is what we're having in this season. There are loads of prayers going on. But there are not a lot of those who are praying who understand the time. Let me make you understand this. How do I explain what I want to say right now? Okay. So, I have a journey to make to Ishigate. Hmm? I have a journey to make to Ishigate. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I'm talking about praying and being watching and praying. Right? I have a journey to make to Ishigate. Right here, the weather is bright. Right here, the weather is bright. But then again, my informant at Ishigate calls me and says to me, listen, it is raining at Ishigate. Now, I have an understanding. Everybody around me is walking. Maybe there are six of us going to Ishigate. I am the only one who knows that it is raining in Ishigate. And then I show up with an umbrella. They are looking at me. Why are you carrying an umbrella? The weather is bright. I am not taking the umbrella for where I am. I'm taking the umbrella for where I am going to. So I am not just praying, but I have understand. That was what Jesus was saying to them. Do not just pray prayers and you don't know where you are in destiny. Holy Spirit, I hope this was clear. So, you, you, you know, we have, a lot of us understand the part of praying. The Lord said we should pray. The Lord said we should pray. What about the place of watching? What about, am I, am I, am I, do I know what I should be praying about? Do I know, do you know sometimes when you pray, Lord, Lord, let the doors of my finances open. That's not your problem. That's not your problem. There's an obedience that was neglected. Lord, could you, could you make me more watchful as I pray? Can I have understanding as I pray? And this is exactly that when Jesus met, the, the man that Jesus healed. And then, because the common knowledge is that when a man was in predicament, that kind of predicament, that it is assumed that something wrong, their father or their mother would have done something wrong. And then the disciples say, hey, so excuse me, sir, according to who of them have done something, is it the father or the mother? And Jesus looked at them. And said, you are not a watcher of time. You, you don't descend times. You don't understand. He says, neither the father nor the mother has sinned. He said, the reason for this situation is so that the work of God might be made. Lord, man, my generation is confused. May I be the one to let them know the reason behind what is happening. Am I communicating? And Jesus said to those in transition, <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you. There are men who are in transition that think they have arrived. That's why you need to watch. There are men who are about to miss their way. They are still in transition. But because it looks like they are still moving forward. Have you ever been on a straight road and have no idea that the road curved at some point? Yes. You think that ah, this is just one straight road. But you didn't realize while you were driving. At some point, it started gradually tilting towards the left. But you karandisha. And he says, man in transition. You see three of you that I have selected from the nine. Listen, I have an instruction from you. Watch. Did you see that he did not say pray and watch? Did you see that he did not say pray and watch? Huh? He says what? Watch and pray. And a watching tells you what to pray. So some of us are praying and then you are watching. And But the Lord says no. When you have a complete understanding as a watchman, then you will know what is it I am supposed to pray about. I'm afraid to say 70% of prayers being made during this COVID-19 season are prayers that have been prayed amiss. And yet we're asking God, why are the answers not happening? God is saying, I'm bound by my word. If you pray and pray and miss, there's no answer. In this season, we need more watchers than more prayer warriors. Ah. 
We need karadi radi You know the relevance of Daniel and the other Hebrew children, the ability to understand times. King, you tell me your dream, I'll give you the interpretation. Just in case you forget, I will also tell you your dream and also bring the interpretation. This is the generation I belong to. A generation that understands deep things of the spirit. A generation you can tell where is this person right now? Where am I in this season? Let me say this. I'm going to say it in the other service. Wherever I stop, I stop. Listen, people of God, Judas comes to Jesus and then plans for Jesus in his mind. Does and Jesus already told his disciples, say, There's somebody that is going to come. The one that is going to kiss me right now is the one that will betray me. He's going to call, he's going to betray. But Jesus understood that it's not about Judas. Eh? It's not about Judas. Hmm? Are you getting what I'm saying? It's not about Judas, it's about the purpose. To which I have come to accomplish. It's not about him. And trust me, Jesus was not pretending. And Judas comes and then hails him. Ah, master. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And then he goes and kisses him. And Jesus turns to him and called him, friend. Friend, where are you coming from? If it were you and I, if it were you and I. Even after you have accepted, you will die. Even if after you have accepted, you will die. And then he comes to now fulfill that thing that the Lord has told you. You may not say anything. You may not say anything, but your actions will let Judas know that I'm a kwamne with Judas. It's just that I am not permitted to talk. Eh? In this season, I may not say anything, but I'm a kwamne Your action, but Jesus knew. I'm watching behind you. You are not the issue. Judas, you are not the problem. Judas, if only you can repent now, you will still be saved. Judas, listen, it's not about you. And that's why I know how to react to you. So Judas, no matter what has happened, you are still my friend. You may not understand what it is. When a man has sold you, collected money and all that, and then he comes to you and you call him friend. I have understanding. That was what Jesus was saying. Beyond your betrayer. It's not about you. It's about the purpose I've come to serve. Lord, teach us to know that most things happening around us is not about who is doing it. It's about the purpose. It's about the purpose. It's about the purpose. And Jesus looks at Judas and calls him friend. Kaleda, watchers wanted. Watchers wanted. There are prayer warriors every, every day. But who are the watchers? Who are those who are like watchmen? Who understand? There is warfare coming. What are the enemies wearing? What are their dresses? Then he goes and tells the king. And says the enemies are here. If you see them with a red cloth. Tied this way. They are the ones we should be wary of. I'm watching. I know what to pray about. So right now our armies are ready. Who should they be looking for? They should be looking for men and women. Who's got a red cloth tied this way. So that they will know who to shoot. We have shot our people. Because we were not watching i'm afraid to say this as much as i'm ashamed to admit it that in recent times we have left what the problem is what we are now looking at is who said it's 5g who said it's a, a distant and then the church is pitched against itself because we are trying to uh, this person says it's not 5g it's not 5g is this one is that is that the problem is that the problem don't we have a, a pandemic we must crush and show our power it's not in running mouth. There's power in Jesus. There's power in Jesus. Let one of this situation that needs power. Let us end it. But yet we are no longer focusing on it. It is to now go on social media and start writing. You will understand it when Corona finally visits uh, uh, that, that your house. When in fact you know that I have left what is the idea. Where are the watchers of time? That everybody's doing it does not mean I'm going to do it. That everybody's talking about it does not mean I'm going to talk about it. Jesus was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil until COVID-19 rests. Forget every other thing. Yes, 
Someone sent me a message and said, please forgive me. I'm one of those that have been abusing pastors to go and pray for COVID-19 people. When I saw this one that was healed, the testimony you put up, I have finally understood there's nothing God cannot do. People, I want to hear more of those things. I want to hear more of those things. When others say people are dying, you have to be in an isolation center. You have to, they have to, get, then someone can be where he is. Just because he called a man of God, the events are reversed. These are, these are the, this is the generation God has called to be better. That's, that's what God is yearning for. That's what God is asking for. They say people are dying. We can point to someone. When, just the same way I used to do it. When I do it, I, I, I clean off people's numbers and their faces. The young man went to Instagram and told everybody, I am the one. Wrote there, come and say, I am the one that has this testimony. And if you go there, you still see him. He said, I'm the one. There's nothing to hide. I am the one. And people of God, that's where I am. I'm not on 5G. If I finish arguing with somebody about 5G, meanwhile, you guys argue, what do you know? What do you know? If they ask you now, okay, it's not 5G. What is it? I am my own 5G. I am my own 5G. I am my own 5G. I know that. If you don't have any other thing to say, shut up your mouth. We won't watch us. You say you've been with God. What did he tell you? Don't come and do analysis paralysis for me. If you've been with God, trans, men in transition, we have prayed. It's time now to watch. Lord, take me to dimensions in the spirit. Where, when others are seeing some things, you see some things, and then they look at a Judas come to you, and they expect that at this point, you should mess up Judas. You will look at Judas and call Judas friend. You didn't know Judas. You are part of helping me fulfill destiny. Some people will love me too much to push me into God's will. But thank you for hating me enough to accept the money so that I can fulfill will. He was my friend. How you helped me fulfill purpose is not as important that you helped me. Did you, did you get what I just said right now? Yes, I, I mean, you know how you have, it's not as important as the fact that you helped me. Because some of us believe the help has to be good. The help has to be subtle. The help has to be appealing. May God raise you people who are not there to patronize your flesh. May God, it's a gift. It's a gift to have people who are not there to subscribe to your weaknesses and your flesh. And the people will tell you, no, you don't do that. This is wrong. It's against God's will. Don't do it next time. Or we have a generation that is not watching. It's a generation, no, 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 no. I don't like, I don't like you telling me things like that. And if you will tell me for myself and flesh to die, tell me. We want to watch us. I'm afraid I haven't even gone into my message. But listen, people of God, the last set of people, maybe I'm just going to end here. Remember, there are those sit here congregation. And they're, they're transitional men. And they are left with two words, watch and pray. Man, a man on a journey must know where he's going to. Asha, you don't understand why the watching is important. You must know who not to talk to. You must know seasons of shutting your mouth and just moving. You must know seasons of of speaking. You must know because there are times and seasons create things that needs to be done when they need to be done. Kiraba, you know seasons where you just have to leave food and food will leave you. Karati bala, you know there are seasons where you have to kirabasha. This is men on transition. But some of us are praying but not watching. And yet you turn around and say, God, I don't know where I offended you. I don't know what I did to you. I don't know what I did. But you're praying. Transitional men. James, John, Peter, you guys have got to be watching because you are in between. You have left where others are, but you've not gotten to where I am. So if you are in between, you got to watch, but you got to pray as well. Then those who have become, but still want to become more, Jesus, where he was, he has already become. But there was a yearning to become more. They have only one prayer on their lips. Not my will. You may not understand how powerful this prayer is until your will struggles with the will of God. 
Those who have come to the place of becoming. And they're saying, Lord, not my choices. Lord, if you leave me now, these are my choices. Those who have come to the place of becoming, they have a prayer. Not my will, but thy will be done. It looks so easy to say until you are confronted with a situation, especially when you think your will is right. And you're still saying, Lord, not my will. This is the place of pain. Which means, Lord, by my will, I can opt out. You know what Jesus said? When they cut off the ear of that guy. When they cut off the ear of that guy, Marcus. And Jesus said, probably to Peter, and said to Peter, listen, if it was about battle, hmm, I can even ask my father, and he will send legions of angels. Which means that Jesus said, right now, eh? I can even make a prayer that is against his will and he will answer me. Did you, did you get it? Did you get it? So even right now, look at, I'm, I'm going in the direction of his will. All of a sudden, I make a prayer. I can ask for legions and he will supply me. But it does not mean that the answered prayer is a validation of my work with him. Immediately he prayed, angels appeared. Cool down. Cool down. We want to find out, is it in line with his will? Not did it excite the people. Did people now call you, yeah, this one is the true Messiah. Jesus came to the point where he said, I have nothing to prove. You can have your opinion. If anything matters to me is what does he feel about me? I have nothing to prove. Because there are men who are attracted to your proving yourself. Hey, can you? And now, man of God, you are man of God, man of God, man of God, woman of God. That's what because and this continuously puts a pressure on you to prove yourself. But when you understand seasons and times, Lord, teach me to always say, Not my will. It may not look good in their eyes, but not my will. Stand on your feet. Raise your two hands. Can you make it a prayer? Where are you on the part of this journey? Where are you? Where are you? Randi Balakashadaha. Reketele Borosiadaha. Araketele Boshia. If I were you, Karadi Kasaha, I will choose to make a prayer this time. Lord, I don't even know whether I am in the seat here, people, or I'm in transition, or in different areas of your life. You can see yourself here, see yourself there, see yourself at the other point. Open your mouth and say, God, I stand from the city here, people. I move in the place of transition, of watching and praying to the place of saying, Lord, I have a will. You can even answer me. But not my will. Not my desires. Not my passion. May I not be chosen as one of those that cannot be trusted. May I not be chosen as one of those whose wheels are above the will of the Father. In the name of Jesus. Would you lift your two hands wherever you are? And whatever you understand by this, it is a season. That's what he said to me to do today. Leave those two hands. And I surrender all to you. Everything 
I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I surrender. Hey, Carapotosos, Erebo Sade Ladaya, with all the nothing, Sharanabolo Bosiana, I give myself away. Lift those two hands to God. Just begin to tell the man that you tell God the man that you want to be. All the times are not easy times. There has to be a capacitation in the spirit first. Hey! Hey! Is Shade Corodosa Balabarabo Shada de Bosuha Radebolo Bosacada Radebolo Cosada Baha Kita Supo Shibaraya Radebolo Cosodosia Lekete Dereha Shade Corosuba Lebarada Sota Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Jesus Leba Sada. As we eat of your flesh and drink of your blood, let grace, kirabashida, randa basia, let our will be subsumed under your will, kirata basida, rekadalabaha, let there be a reignition of kirata basa, kara of capacity to see in the spirit. Lord Kirabasa, this is not a season of blindness. Karaboshia, somebody speak in the Holy Ghost. Kiradabashiara, Karede Sianabaha, Karaba, speak in the Holy Ghost. Say, Lord, open my eyes. I cannot afford to leave the rest of my years second guessing things. Kikata Karabala, Erendorokoshibaraha, Aradibala Kazaha. You are waiting for someone else to see it for you. You are the only only one that will see it. Keep our desire. Amaya balakasoto ha. Arabale kosiya. Not just prayer for men and women, but men who can see. Men who are vigilant. Men who are sober. Kira dekeseda ha. Esha pata kila ya. Ese telekeze ya. Oro doro boso para. Ikata ya. Ese poloto. Esha rakata. Ese Thank you, oh God. We give you all the glory. Eyes to see, ears to hear. Eyes to see, ears to hear. Eyes to see, ears to hear. Thank you, Lord. Be magnified, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to come for your community.